It's been a while since I've done a video, but I kind of wanted to do a video on this because I thought it was pretty cool. I got a new Lego set, but it's not new. It's really old, actually. You guys know this one. This one is from 2012. This is Lego Ninjago, set number 9441, Kai's Blade Cycle. This is from 2012. And this set right here is super special to me. And I finally just ended up ordering it on eBay. It was a little pricey because obviously it has been retired for uh, almost 10 years now. It came out in 2012 or it was like the first wave or whatever, I believe. And it's been a long time now since this set was out. The thing is though, this was my first Lego set ever. This was the first Lego set that ever I ever got for Lego Ninjago or just Lego in general. Now, as a kid, I had like a box of Lego pieces and stuff to build with, but this was the first real Lego set I had ever bought. And it is just a super special thing to me. Now, why would I buy a new one? I, at first I had the thought maybe I would go ahead and wait till March because March is when I actually got the set and I would build it. Uh, I built it in March. I just I just remember that moment when I got this first set and I just built it and it's had such a good time and it you know spiraled me down to uh, spending probably thousands of dollars on Lego over the years, which is just insane. But uh, I did get this set. I just wanted to have it and maybe I would open it up and have that experience again 10 years later. Uh, after I first got the set and built it. But after getting it in the box, I just feel like I might keep this in the box. You know, I might just keep it on my shelf, nice and sealed. You can, you can hear the pieces in there. You can see the tape right here. It's a sealed box for Kai's Blade Cycle from 2012. And there's just something super special about this to me. Uh, it's super nostalgic for this set. And I think this set is perfect on my shelf. I, I don't think I need to open this. I do have the set already. So if I set the set down over here, I mean, I got it pulled out real quick. I don't have the figures for it, but this is Kai's Blade Cycle. This is my original one that I got back in 2012. Uh, you can literally see the dust on this. I didn't even, you know, really plan on cleaning it up. I, it's actually good to show the dust. It shows how old it is. I have cleaned it before. I've taken it apart before and built it again uh, just, to, just to dust it. And it's pretty old, obviously. You can quite tell. But uh, I'm just thinking, I already have it out on display. You know, I can probably dust it again and I don't really need to build this I think this right here is quite a special thing at least for me personally again this is kind of random for anybody else but for me personally this is a really cool set like this set really means something to me it was the first Lego set I ever ended up getting and I'm just kind of happy with this purchase I really really am I don't really regret it uh, I do want to go back and get older Ninjago sets that I haven't gotten before. There is a good chunk of Ninjago sets from 2011, 2012 that I just haven't gotten yet. And I haven't done that much because I obviously can't just buy all the old Ninjago sets because they're obviously retired and they are much more pricier than they were before. This set was like a $15, $20 set. I don't exactly remember. And it was going for around $70 to $80. And I know that's a lot of money. It does sound like a lot of money. I did save a little bit. I haven't bought much in a while for lego so i thought hey you know what just got paid i'll go ahead and buy this set why not i think it's worth it to me at least and uh yeah so it's obviously quite hard to get older sets now but one that i've got my eye on is the ultrasonic raider from 2012 i don't know if i'll end up getting that set uh, i never actually got that set anyways so if i get that set i'll probably open it and build it and actually experience that set um, but yeah, there's lots of different Ninjago sets I haven't gotten and just Star Wars sets as well. Star Wars is something I completely missed out on back in the day. I'm obviously into Lego Star Wars now, but Lego Star Wars is totally something I also would love to get older sets of because right now, um, I'm, you know, restricted to the newer ones because those are obviously the easiest to get. But, uh, there's obviously a bunch of different unique Star Wars sets and Ninjago sets and whatever else in the past that I just didn't pick up. And I, I kind of feel like I should because uh, if I'm trying to collect this stuff, I just, I feel like it would be a fun thing to do. Uh, obviously, it's a lot harder to do this and it would take a lot more time because it does cost a lot more. I'd have to pick and choose what type of uh, sets I would want to get. But I just want to make this quick haul video here. It's not really that big of a deal. It's a big deal to me, though. I just think this is kind of unique, uh, kind of nostalgic for me. And when I bought the Ninjago 2012 sets, the like the, the Serpentine Season 1 stuff, I actually threw out all my boxes. I know, it sounds terrible, but I threw all my boxes out, and I literally don't have those boxes today. So this is the first Ninjago 2012 box I've touched 
since I threw them out all those years ago. It's insane. But I, I don't know why I did that. I started keeping them with the uh, final battle sets, but uh, I never kept those original set boxes, and it just kind of hurts me to this day. So uh, it's cool to have this in my possession once again, and I love this. I just love this so much.